if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 11. The Endless City. Survival Difficulty. Class 1. Safe. Secure. Minimal Entity Count. Level 11 is the 12th level of the back rooms. This level presumably is an infinite city. Description. Level 11 is a presumably infinite city with buildings, stores, and skyscrapers. This level includes buildings that can be found in your normal city in the front rooms. These buildings are randomized in structure and furniture. Some buildings are empty, others are full. You can access some buildings, and others you cannot. The insides of the buildings are strange and anomalous, as there are stairways leading to nowhere, doors on the sides of buildings, etc. The shops, while mainly derelict, sometimes contain useful items. Gravity does not seem to affect these buildings. Some buildings have the possibility to be strangely placed on top of each other, float, or even clip inside each other, which is physically impossible. This level has no daylight cycle, and is stuck in daytime, although some levels show level 11 at night, such as level 92. The concrete sidewalks are mostly normal, but the sidewalks can rarely lead to a dead end or clip through buildings. Some walkways just lead up towards the sky like a ramp. The asphalt roads of level 11 are warm and dry, the opposite of level 9. The roads are painted similar to casual roads with yellow lines. The street lamps are anomalous as some lamps are on, some are off. Almond water is a common item in level 11, ranging from water fountains, commercial freezers, soda vending machines, and more. There's a strange event that can occur, where a random model of a car would roll across the streets until it eventually stops rolling. These vehicles are inactive and do not work. The cars are usually empty, although there have been reports of facelings either by themselves or up to groups of four inside the vehicles after the event had taken place. Level 11 has large nuclear power plants that are usually separated about 800 kilometers from each other. Studies of the power plants show that they are inactive, yet still emit dangerous levels of radiation. So much so that drones flying over the area for surveillance deactivate from the emissions. We advise wanderers to keep away from those structures until further studies continue. MEG Team Secure Security are stationed close to the power plants at the center of level 11 to where no harm can take effect. Any reports of wanderers that pass the guards will be taken to base beta for aid and inspection. Level 11 has many city landmarks from all over the front rooms. These landmarks can be recognized as structures from New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, St. Louis, and Toronto, and more. These structures have the same properties as the rest of the buildings in level 11 mentioned previously. Wi-Fi in level 11 does in fact exist and is active. The names of these connections are very random with no corresponding pattern, which include KTUCFJE20W, Q1LYXZKAYR, and others. Facelings and hounds are the only frequent spawning entities in level 11 and seem to have a strange effect called the 11 effect, which makes the entity's behavior change to make them act as normal pedestrians and dogs. This will cause the entities to interact with the wanderers in an effort of communication. Other entities include death moths, crawlers, and smilers, which are almost impossible to find. The entities from level 9, which include the neighborhood watch, 
the Observer, and the Mangled have been reported in level 11, but they most likely wandered into this level from level 9. Some special entities that reside in level 11 are Argos, that resides at the headquarters, and the human entity, Ralph, located in a building labeled Radio Backroom Studio in level 11. Bases, outposts, and communities. There are too many groups to count for this document, but we have composed a list of the most important groups living in level 11, which includes MEG, aka the Major Explorer Group, Base Beta. This is the fourth main base of the MEG. This base is fairly new and is still being organized. Different MEG teams get transferred around from time to time. MEG team Secure Security is assigned to stay in level 11 while construction is ongoing. The Eyes of Argos. The main base of the Eyes of Argos is a building known as the Headquarters. It's a safe place to stay or even trade unless you have committed a sin. Camp Amber Level 11 Outpost. This is the second base from Camp Amber, which originally resided on level zero. This group usually helps newcomers and teach them about the back rooms. This group is an outpost and don't really have a fixed point as they wander around to help others. This group is aided by the local MEG base Beta to further help the wanderers. Insurrection Station 7, presumed to have a population upwards of 800, seemingly self-sufficient, but open to trade. Entry is barred to anyone aligned with the MEG. Area surrounding the station is heavily patrolled by armed guards. Drone Surveillance Squad, this was a group created by the three wanderers that first recorded level 11. This group has 14 members and use their drones to record video evidence of other levels. This group is friendly and open to trade, but will not trade drones, with a few exceptions. Homely Hotel This group has a running hotel service in a hotel building. This is their second base, other than their original in level 5. This group is open to new wanderers to fill in their applications to stay. They have an active food and room service to keep the wanderers safe. Jerry's Salvation This outpost is a team composed of members from the FOJ. This team has around 40 members. This outpost was created as a scavenger team for finding and stealing items for the rest of the FOJ. This group can be friendly unless one insults Jerry in any way. The UBDS Level 11 Service Outpost, Package Scouts. This outpost is set up by the UBDS to expand their postal service. This outpost has around 38 people ready to deliver to wanderers. This outpost is sometimes aided by MEG Team Postal Delivery. This outpost is a new addition to the group and is currently being worked on. The AEA, Anti-Entity Agency. This group is a mysterious team of people that are tasked with terminating entities. This group was said to be made before the discovery of Level 11. They were apparently created in 1952 and fell apart during 1988. Some people claim to be members and are still doing their tasks today, but this is unknown. This group was originally located on a rooftop in Level 11. The members of this group would wear business suits and had private missions. They would originally trade items such as steel, matches, radios, and other rare items. Radical Radio. This group contains five members, all in their teens. Footnote 1. Why is a group of ridiculous teenagers considered an important group anyways? Op Saffron K. Footnote 2. They made a radio station, the color red. This group has a 1980s theme and claims it's what makes them popular. This group doesn't have a main base, so they just walk around creating small outposts. They would use these devices to set up radios in some populated areas. In some breaks you can hear them casually talking, or sometimes bickering before a new song plays. Ralph from the Radio Backroom Studio claims this group has competitors although then claims that the reason why is because there is no one else to compete with. 
Baltimart, a group of 28 people that run stores around level 11. This group works 24 hours a day to serve wanderers. They usually go around taking items in other unused buildings, or get resupplied by the BNTG. This group sets up different outposts in unused store buildings. The Citizens of Level 11 This consists of all the people in Level 11. The exact amount of people is unknown, but the number is estimated around 12,000. These wanderers will stick around the center of Level 11, and you will not find much any further. Discovery This level was discovered when a bunch of people wandered into Level 11 while following the signs in Level 9. A bunch of reports had made their way to the MEG during 2016, including video evidence of three wanderers using a drone to record footage of Level 11. The MEG had sent Regiment Compass Point, the Misfits, to investigate. After its discovery, it was quickly made into an entry and mapped out by Regiment Track Mappers, Bloodhounds. Once this was completed, we started helping wanderers that were stuck in Level 11 prior to Discovery. People from different levels started to move to this level, and now call Level 11 their home. The MEG do their best to keep the wanderers safe in Level 11 and others. Entrances and Exits Entrances The most common way to enter is through Level 9, where you must follow the signs for around 100 to 200 miles. When doing so, the environment starts to slowly change, and you must be purposely following the signs to enter level 11. You can also enter by traveling in the metro. In level 11.1, you can enter level 11 by walking towards the city in the distance. Finding a long road in level 66 will lead you to level 11. Entering an orange arcade cabinet in level 25 will lead to this level. Finding a tunnel in level 69 will lead to level 11. Entering a trash can in level 122 can lead to this level. Level 11 can also be entered via level 36.1. Looking up in the sky at the top layer of level 17 for too long will bring you to level 11. Entering an airlock in level 78 will lead to level 11. Walking outside the train in level 61 while stationary will lead to level 11. It is possible to enter this level from level 87 via multiple doors. Other levels with doors to level 11 include level 88, level 34, level 40, level 73, level 95, level 113, and level 92. Exits Some buildings lead to level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and level 196. Certain windows on level 11 can lead you to level 12. Entering a sewer grate can lead to level 34. You can find an airport between level 11 and level 9. Enter it to be transported to level 36. Climb a chain link fence near some open land to get to level 205. Going down into a subway will lead to level 59. Finding a cylinder shaped building in level 11 will lead you to level 86. Entering a certain apartment building in level 11 will lead you to level 13. Finding a cyan-colored building in level 11 will lead to level 73. Finding a small blue building and entering the igloo inside the building will lead to level 47. Entering a taxi car will have a chance to bring you to level 43. Finding an alleyway in level 11 has a chance to bring you to level 55. A small building with the sign reading, Sewage will bring you to level 41. Finding a Machia house in the distance and entering it will lead to level 178. Find a rock climbing building and climb the rock wall, then pass out and you will wake up on the beds of level 101. Finding an old TV in either good or bad condition and no clipping through it will lead you to level 104 or level 131 depending on the condition of the television. Entering a certain library in level 11 will lead to level 75. Finding a strange metal door in level 11 will lead to level 98. Finding a cathedral in this level will bring you to level 105. Finding a mansion in level 11 will lead to level 82. Finding a mall in level 11 will bring you to level 33. 
finding a plushie of an entity in level 11, and then finding a carnival will bring you to level 32. Finding a large park in level 11, and roll around the grass for a few hours, will bring you to level 37. Seemingly find a conservatory building in level 11 to enter level 30. If you enter any laundromat building, you will be transported to level 60. Entering a certain clothing store in level 11 will lead you to level 807. Finding a brown bricked building saying M. David High School in level 11 will bring you to level 52. Enter a hotel building labeled Defratton City Hotel to enter level 171. Finding a small abandoned area with sand everywhere and a small wooden building will lead you to level 655. No clip through a billboard about a new food store to enter level 176. Walking 5 miles due east of the MEG base takes you to level 275.